All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about um, about your career and your success, not expanding because you're not expanding. And as long as you're not expanding, your career, your success, your fulfillment cannot expand. And that's the end of the story. So when I say that, what I mean is I see a lot of actors, and you might be one of them, really trying all the things out there. So you may be in different classes. You may be in scene study class. You may be in camera class. You may be in audition technique. You might be taking some workshops. You might be doing some cold reading. You might be doing some marketing for actors workshops. You might be looking for celebrity mentors. You might be reading some acting books. You might be trying so many different things in order to expand your career, expand your success, have more of that. And you may be realizing that none of those things that you're trying that are taking all your time and possibly a lot of your budget are giving you the kind of results that you want. So it feels like you're not really feeling good when you're acting and it also feels like you're not seeing your career flourish, you're not seeing any expansion in terms of your success and your career. And so because of that, you may be thinking, oh, okay, let, let me do more. It means I need to find a better class. It means I need to do another casting director workshop. It means I need to do this new technique that someone told me about or read this new book or like go, go travel and see a new acting coach that is that everyone's talking about or an old acting coach that everyone is talking about or do this new Instagram technique so that people will see me and I have to take like a social media class as an actor in order to have my career um, you know be more like what I want and um, of course you're doing more and more and you're working harder and harder and you're not actually seeing your success expand and your career expand and that can be very frustrating which is why I want to talk about this so the fact that your career is not what you want and that your success is not what you want even if you're having a lot of work so we also have actors who come and start in our community and have plenty of external success and plenty of work and credits but they don't feel like they're really fulfilled inside at all so i'm really talking about the kind of career and success that feels yummy that feels exciting that feels truthful that feels fulfilling and nourishing to you to your soul to your heart not just credits and cash in your bank so the the reason why this is good news, if you're not having the career you want, if it's not as big as you want, if your success is not as big as you want, it's not as meaningful as you want, it's not as fulfilling as you want, that's great news because it's a symptom that something else is going on. So your career not being what you want, your success not being what you want is not the problem. It's a consequence. It's a symptom. What is the real root issue? the root cause of those symptoms coming is really what is interesting to look at. And so the root cause is always going to be coming from how you're showing up. And if your responsibility as an actor or as a performer in, in any other performing art is to bring your full aliveness, your whole self, your whole essence when you show up, and you haven't done work to be able to show up fully alive, fully free, fully purposeful, fully you, like the only unique extraordinary being that you are, then inevitably the consequence, the symptom is going to be your career, your success will not be what you want. So it's great because the opportunity means the, or the symptom means that there's an opportunity which is to start doing some work on yourself. It doesn't mean you're broken. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. But it does point to the fact that you have been conditioned in this patriarchal world. You have been programmed to feel a certain way, to think a certain way, to behave a certain way, to learn a certain way, 
to do everything that you do a certain way, to even wish for a future of a certain kind. You've been programmed, wired, educated, indoctrinated, some people will say, to function in a conditioned way in order to please the others around you, the authorities around you since you were a little child, in order to be accepted at school, in order to be validated, safe. You drank the Kool-Aid and yes, you took on the programming to not cry. When you were crying, you were shushed or you were given a pacifier so you wouldn't cry. To not get angry because you would be punished when you were angry. To not get sad because you were told don't cry when you were sad. To not be ecstatically happy because you were told to turn it down when you were too happy. So you've taken on this insidious programming and conditioning into your cells from the first moment you came to this planet all the way to now. You've listened to what was expected of you, what was requested of you, what was forced into you. And you went with it because that was the safest thing to do, again, to belong, to be safe, to get love, to get support, security, food, everything you needed in order to survive. And so the thing is that having been raised in this conditioning and then being an artist is a little bit at odds unless you undo the conditioning. So really, if your career and your success is not what you want, it really is because you're at a level of conditioning that's still holding your being in a very tight place. You were born like this, and then you've been asked to behave like this, with a mask, really tied up, behaving like others want, trying to please, trying to do it right, trying to look good. But this is not who you really are. That's who you really are. And when you're behaving like you're told for fear of the consequences of losing the love, the safety, the validation, the belonging, you're really walking around like this. You're not being your true authentic self. And so there is no way that your career or your success will expand if you do not expand. So it's great because you can look at what the feedback is in your reality. Oh, I don't like the career I have now. I'm not okay with the success or the lack of success that I have right now. Great. That points back to what's going on with me. How am I showing up? I'm prob probably showing up like a very small slice of the pie that I am. And therefore, the opportunity is not to do more work out there to get more work, learn more tricks from other people on how am I supposed to act to do it right and to, do look, good and to look good. Don't look for more stuff out there. The more you look for stuff out there, as you see, the more I leave, the more you disconnect from yourself. The more you're out there learning, the less you're being you. So in the work we do in resetting, it's really, first of all, about undoing all the conditioning, all the indoctrination, the wiring, the programming. And parallel to that, waking up your DNA, your instinct, your freedom, what you came with, your gifts, what makes you magnificent and unique. Sorry. Sorry. So, so the opportunity here is to look at the root cause. I need to expand in order for the things outside of me, my career, my success to expand. I will not expand my success and my career until I expand myself. That's it. End of story. It's like saying, I am signing up for the marathon. I really need to make sure I have the right shoes, the right headband, the right water, the right sweat absorbing t-shirt and shorts and socks and um, blah, blah, blah. And making that a priority 
compared to making sure you can run in a way that doesn't kill your feet and your legs and your lungs and your heart and that that nourishes you that is sustainable for you if you're going to be running the marathon we don't care about your shoes we don't care about your headband we don't care about anything but your capacity to run if you're an actor or a performer we don't care about anything about any of the classes you've been into about any of the techniques and methods you learn we care about how alive you are when you show up because that is what your art is about it's about showing up your capacity to show up fully alive it doesn't mean enthusiastic it means if you're more of an introverted tender sweet person we want you to be able to shine all of that to be just that if you're more of a fiery frustrated i'm going to come in and break it all type of person we want you to be that so again you are the only ingredient in your acting career and your acting success if you're not going to remove all the shit that's been sprayed on your instrument since you were born about you have to feel a certain way you have to think a certain way you have to behave a certain way you have to learn a certain way you have to belong a certain way blah 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 if you're not going to remove that to unearth who you really are in your instinct in your guts in your heart in your soul in your purpose like what makes you unique on this entire planet in the past and in the future there'll never be anyone just like you if you're not going to unearth remove all the dirt and just like rise from those ashes and be you your career will not change no matter how many headbands you buy and new shoes you buy and acting classes you go to and books you read you need to undo everything that's in the way of you so that you can wake up you another analogy would be to say you've been in a cast your whole life so yes we are going to need to open the cast to undo the cast and then to remuscle your capacity to stand if we don't you'll fall just like when you break your leg if you break your leg you can't just rip apart the cast cuz you decide to walk and then walk no you'll fall your leg is not there for you it's the same in your acting instrument it's not because you decide to be successful and to have an acting career that you can just go and do it no you've been tied up you've been asked to behave a certain way think a certain way feel a certain way learn a certain way fit a certain way do everything right look good your entire life There is no way that you can just decide to show up and be fully alive. You've trained yourself to not be fully alive your entire life. Your authorities, the authorities that cared for you, your parents, your school teachers, the culture around you has asked you to dim your light since you were born. And you did it because it was the right thing to do to stay safe. But if you're an artist, you're going to have to undo all of that so that you can rebirth who you were born to be who you were meant to be so that you can fully express that uniqueness that dna that gift that you are that medicine that you are that the world needs okay whether you touch two people or 60 million it doesn't matter we need you we don't need a polished version of you a better version of you a fixed version of you we need you you're perfect you were born perfect let's get back to that So if this makes any sense um you can type the word free 100 and we can send you some information if you want to start to work on this path of getting you back of unearthing you back um yeah in my opinion there's nothing else than you uh, nothing else but you that matters so I hope that you come back to you you come back home so that you can show up for your characters and therefore get the career and the success that is meaningful to you. All right, I hope this made sense. Um again, if you're interested, type free 100 in the comments so that we can send you some information on how you can start to do this work. All right? Have a great week. Bye.